Hi everybody, it's Diego from Codex and welcome to the third lesson of our Arduino course. Last day we learned how to code several LEDs and today we're going to use that knowledge to make a traffic light. So if you're ready, let's get started. The project we're going to make today is the same as last day's, but this time we're going to use different colors in the LEDs. As you see, the anodes of the LEDs go to the digital pins 5, 6 and 7 and the cathodes of the LEDs go to the ground pin after going through the resistor. So first of all, we're going to make the physical circuit and after that we will open and block 5 to code it. As I have explained before, we're going to use one Arduino board, one breadboard, three 220 ohm resistors, three LEDs, red, green, green and yellow, one USB cable and some jumper wires. So let's begin with the LEDs. I'm going to leave the anode on the right side. Now the resistors that will directly go from the cathode to the negative rail. and the jumper wires from the anode to the digital pin. I'm gonna use orange instead of, of red, basically because I don't have a, a long red wire. Now you know we have to add Arduino here. We can remove Cody and start coding. We're gonna work on live mode that we will be able to use this event when green flag clicked. And let's start adding this. So remember, digital pin 5 is green, 6 is yellow, and 7 is red. So at the beginning, 5 is going to be high, 6 is going to be low, and 7 is going to be low as well. And we're going to wait for 5 seconds. After 5 seconds, we're gonna turn yellow. So this one should be low and this one should be high, but that's only gonna happen for one second. After that, we're gonna turn red. So the only high is red. And that's gonna be for five seconds. And this is a loop we're gonna repeat forever. There are some blocks that we can take off here, they're not necessary, but I'm not gonna tell you which ones. That's a task you, you have to do, okay? And now connect, show all connectable devices, connect again, and if it requires update, we have to do it. It does, so let's update firmware. And after this update, the device has been disconnected, so we have to connect it again. If it says we have to update again, don't worry, this is gonna work, okay? It does, but this is gonna work. So let's try it out.
And finally, we're going to add some sprite which will interact, okay, will be coordinated with the, with the board, with the LEDs. Let's see. Here we have sprites. We're going to get rid of panda and add a please. So we have to send messages from the Arduino board to the to the placement so that it speaks as he receives those messages. The messages are in events, so after turning green and before waiting these five seconds, we're gonna broadcast a message called green. After turning yellow, we're gonna broadcast a message, new message, called yellow. And after turning red, we're gonna broadcast a message called red. Now we gotta go to the sprite tab and in the placement, we're gonna use this event. When I receive green and it looks, we're gonna say, go for example when i receive yellow the policeman is gonna say be careful and when i receive red the policeman is gonna say stop obviously here you can write the messages you want Let's see if it works. As you see, it does work. And I'm going to propose a challenge. And we're going to create a, a kind of circle that will change color as the LEDs change color as well. To do so, we have to add another sprite and we have to click on paint. Here we're going to create a circle, which is going to be green. Let's call it green. And now we're going to duplicate it. Make it yellow and change name. And we'll do the same with the red color. And after that, we're gonna code it in a similar way we've coded the, the placement. But in this case, instead of saying something, this is gonna switch costume to a specific costume. Once both sprites are finished, you can go to background tab and add a background and your program could look like this also if you have time instead of making a circle you can create a, an actual traffic light and as an idea, you can change the brightness of the colors that are not working at that time. And it could look like this. I hope you guys liked this video and learned how to code LEDs. In the next one, we're gonna start adding other components, not only LEDs. So, see you next time. Bye bye.